Hello friends and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys doing well. Today I will show you the advanced way of flight design. With this advanced method, you can give a 3D look of your design. So let's get started. First I want to show you some techniques of shadows. Choose a color. Make a circle. We need a shadow below of this shape. So we will copy this shape with Ctrl plus C and paste it with Ctrl plus F. And move it up a little bit. Now again select the first circle, and again copy and paste in place. Choose a dark same color. Now select both shapes. And choose minus front option from Pathfinder. Now we have a shadow here. I want to give a deep look of this shape. So I will make a circle. I will set it on stroke. Increase the stroke. Now choose these points and delete them. Go to the stroke and select round cap option. Now go to the options and select path and outline stroke for this. I will choose a light color. Now select all shapes and group them. Select all shapes and move them down. Choose a color. And send it back. That's it. Now I am going to show you, how you can apply this advanced method in this face. So let's do it. Let me make a copy of it. I will start with his hair. So first copy this shape with Ctrl plus C, and paste in place with Ctrl plus F. Move this shape to the left. Now again select the first circle and again copy and paste in place. Choose a dark same color. Now select both shapes. And choose minus front option from Pathfinder. Now group these two shapes. Perfect. Now I want to give a more shadow under this shape. So I will copy this shape and paste in place. Move this shape a little bit down. And choose dark skin color. Send this shape to the back. Now we have this unnecessary part here. So for this. Select Shadow Shape and Face Shape. And choose Divide option from Pathfinder. Now ungroup this shape. And choose only those shapes which you want. And delete unnecessary shapes. And send this face shape to the back. Now we have a perfect shadow of hair on his face. Now I want to give shadow on his hair. Select his hair and copy with Ctrl C and paste with Ctrl plus F. Move this circle up. Now again select the first circle and again copy and paste in place. Choose a dark same color. Now select both shapes. And choose minus front option from Pathfinder. Now we have shadow on his hair. Now it's time for his eyes. Let me ungroup it. Select this shape and copy with Ctrl plus C and paste it with Ctrl plus F. Move this shape a little bit up. Again select the first shape and again copy and paste in place. Choose a dark same color. Now select both shapes. And choose minus front option from Pathfinder. Now I will make a rectangle here for a more deep look. Select all shapes and group them together. Copy and paste this group. And move it little bit down. Choose dark skin color. Send this shape to the back. Now let me place eyes back on place.
decrease the size and place it on face like this. I will just copy this shape for his other eye. Perfect. Now at the last, shadow on his beard. For this, simply I will copy this shape with Ctrl plus C and paste it with Ctrl plus F. And move it up a little bit. Now again select the first circle and again copy and paste in place. Choose a dark same color. Now select both shapes. And choose minus front option from Pathfinder. Perfect. And last for his t-shirt I will add some more shadow. I will copy this shape and move it down. I will choose a dark same color. And one more rectangle here. So that's how you can make your designs more attractive. And take your creativity into the next level. I hope you guys learned something new today. If you like it. So please share this video in your groups. Hit the like button. And if you are new on my channel. Make sure to subscribe to the channel. Because the best is coming.